uh, Pluton flares on rumble what was the reason given for the embassy attack if any I heard there were military targets and embassy uh, Israel didn't even come out and take responsibility for the attack they haven't given a reason for the attack but the reason for the attack was because there were generals Iranian generals at that embassy right so they said oh there's top Iranian generals at that embassy so we're gonna kill those generals and kill any bystanders that are around there right so they took out two main generals I think two other Iranian military and they killed I believe 15 people so they killed 11 innocent people right that's like that's that's actually a pretty good uh, record for uh, Israel because Israel has been using an so-called AI program it's not really an AI program some schmuck sitting behind a computer uh, coding something setting parameters saying oh yeah we're gonna give some kind of number right some kind of weight on thousands of Palestinians that live in the Gaza Strip and that's exactly what they did right they said oh this person is priority number one Right. I don't know what their numbering was, what they would say. It was called uh, Lavender, Lavender AI program for Israel. You can look it up. Right. Uh, we talked about it in the last stream and there were like two other AI programs. It's not AI programs. Again, it's some schmuck sitting in the back of the computer saying, oh, let's kill more, more people. Right. So what they did, they would say, OK, this is this is what Lavender the hill might as well do this. Right. Check this out. It's insane. And they're calling it AI to fool people thinking that AI is a good thing AI is important it wasn't their fault AI did this again this is not AI this is someone just writing a program this isn't sentient being deciding to do this this is someone writing a program right so in the Gaza Strip one of the most populated land pieces on the planet completely blockaded no one can come and go without Israel's permission, right? Without Israel's permission, right? So here's the Gaza Strip. Uh, let me see if I can draw it properly. Hey, what's going on? Doink. Let's see. Hey, let's kill this guy. Doink, doink. Okay, here's a Gaza Strip. Let's see. Um, it does this, I think. I think it looks something like that. Let's say it looks like that, right? Here's water here. Water. Okay, I'm gonna crack open a new. These are these are a whole bunch of. I found a good deal on eBay because I go through a lot of these with my students, right? So I found a good deal on eBay last year, and I bought a whole bunch of these markers. Uh, oh, nice water so here's water right and this is all land this is all land Egypt rest of this Israel well occupied territory right so it's all blocked in two million people two million people 2.2 million million people right let's take I don't know a bunch of these people here let's say this person you got another person let's say you got another person let's say you got another person right let's call these right this would be Israel's AI program AI program right let's call these people say they're Hamas right they live here they're Hamas let's say this guy's priority number one Hamas Hamas priority number one this one's Hamas priority number two this one's Hamas priority number three this one's Hamas priority number four I don't know if these are the numbers they use I've read articles on it I don't give a rat's ass about their logistics because it's some schmuck programming something and once you know how a certain program works they all work the same way same concept right and then that schmuck whoever programmed this guy in saying Hamas number one anyone that's got a weight class priority of Hamas number one okay will allow a hundred people bystanders to be killed if we decide to kill this guy 
So this guy has a plus 100 rating. Homos number two, let's say, would have a plus 50 rating. Homos number three would have a plus 20 rating. Homos number four, eh, low blow schmuck. Maybe this is the person that brings food to Homos number one or number two or number three, right? The food delivery person will have a Homos four rating of 10, right? In addition to this, what they did, they ran their other program, one of them called uh, Daddy's Daddy Home or something like this, right? Which the schmuck writing a program said, hey, the best way to target this person, right, to kill them is to kill them at home. And if we give a rating of plus 100, it doesn't really matter who's at home, their kids, family, grandparents, grandchildren, it doesn't matter, right? That's why you saw in the last few months entire families being annihilated. Because what they would do is, let's say Homos number two, would go into their home, right? Here's Homos number two coming into their home. They got a plus 50 rating, right? So Israel drops a gazillion tons on this, not a gazillion tons, I don't know what size the bombs are, and kills this entire family plus the families beside them, right? And by the way, a lot of these people might not be Hamas. They might have been associated with somebody that was Hamas, right? I don't know. What, what the fuck do you do with that, right? What do you do with these monsters, with this schmuck, with this fucking schmuck? that wrote this program. What do you do with those monsters? Sorry, I got a little angry there, right? Holy fuck, right? This is the first math stream I'm swearing because I've seen videos of this, right? And the most, one of the most densely populated pieces of land on the planet where most people consider it to be a concentration camp which it is right because you can't leave if you're born there you can't leave right Israeli government controls the amount of calories going into your land and they write a program that gives a death rating to certain members of the population and says we're okay with killing a hundred innocent people if we take this person out and the best way to take this person out is to kill them at their home when they visit their family and we're gonna call that program where's daddy or some shit like this now keep in mind according to I'm not reading the chat, by the way, my apologies again. According to Israel, right? According to Israel, there was around 50,000 Hamas members, right? 50,000 Hamas members, 50,000 Hamas members, right? Let's take an average of this, right? 170, oh, sorry, 150, 170, 180 divided by four. What's 180 divided by four? 180 divided by 4. Uh, 180 divided by 4. We're going to take an average. We're going to take an average according to our numbers, right? 2 goes into this twice. 2 goes into this 9 times, right? 90 times, right? 2 goes into this once. 2 goes into this 45 times. So average is 45. The average is 45 plus 45 so according to Israel to kill all 50,000 Hamas members right they're okay with killing 45 innocent people there's 2.2 million people there multiplied by 45 
multiply by 45. I actually wasn't planning on do doing this math because uh, I wanted to keep it no death related, but we got death related. Zero, 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 twenty-five. You add a zero for the four, and then zero, 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 twenty. Zero, 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 five, two, two. Wow, look at this. So it comes out to two million, two point two five million. So according to Israel, and according to the numbers I assigned, because I know one of them, I believe was 100. And if we took the average, 45. According to Israel, it's okay to genocide the whole population of Gaza if they want to kill 50,000 Hamas members that they've coded, according to whatever the whole code the schmuck wrote. Are we done? All right. Are we done? Are we done? Fuck. When I actually hadn't done this, I didn't realize it was going to be 2.25. Let's take this down. Salute, Emil. Salute, gang. Chicho, math. Go straight to your heart. Go straight to your heart. No fucking around with numbers. Right. Oh. Did we also mention that half the population of Gaza are children? 50% children? Right. This is what genocide looks like. And these are the monsters that do it. and look around you and if anybody's not speaking out against this they're the good germans right during world war ii where they stood by and allowed this is worse than that really remember during world war ii ibm helped the nazis run their concentration camps which companies were involved in this? 